Hello sports fans, welcome to Super Sports Central. Today we will be going over my week 5 predictions for college football. So we're going to be going over every game played by a top 25 team, and I'll be giving you a prediction, including a score prediction for each game. So last week I went 17-4, and four, which brings my overall record to 62-16. and 16. So to start off, uh, there's two games actually being played tonight. Uh, Iowa against Maryland. Iowa is ranked number five in the country. Um, this is a key game for both teams. Uh, both teams are four and zero. Um, a win for Maryland completely changes the picture of everything for Iowa in the Big Ten, because the Big Ten right now they're thinking they have two contenders, Penn State and Iowa, because both are ranked in very high up in the top ten. Um, Iowa's offense hasn't been great. But their defense has been what has allowed them to w- win the games. Um, so I'm going to take Iowa 26, uh, 27-16 in this game. And the other game being played tonight, number 13, BYU against Utah State. Uh, BYU has multiple upset wins this year uh, against Utah and against Arizona. Arizona State, sorry. Uh, I think BYU wins this game 34-21. Michigan at Wisconsin. Michigan is ranked number 14 in the country. And Wisconsin fell out of the top 25 after getting blown out by Notre Dame. Uh, Michigan looks good early this season. Uh, I think they're ready to show they can be a contender in the Big Ten East with a win over another good team or... Well, I think Wisconsin's good. It's hard to tell now that they've lost two games to Penn State and Notre Dame. But Penn State and Notre Dame are both really good teams. So, it's it's hard to classify Wisconsin right now. But, um, Wisconsin quarterback Graham Mertz is tied for a nation-high six interceptions. Um, but I'm going to take Michigan in a close game, 24-20 in this game. Number 24, Wake Forest against Louisville. Uh, Wake Forest is undefeated, although the, the record of the teams they've beaten, the combined record is 12-11. 12, 12 and 11. Uh, They beat Norfolk State, Old Dominion, Florida State, and Virginia. Um, Louisville is 3-1 and one with a loss to Ole Miss in the opener. Uh, I think Wake Forest continues their impressive start with the 38-28 win over Louisville. Louisiana Monroe against number 16, Coastal Carolina. Um, Coastal Carolina is 4-0, but the teams they beat were the Citadel, Kansas, Buffalo, and UMass. Um, None of those teams are very good this year. Um, So I'm going to go Coastal Carolina with the easy 59-13 win. Number three, Oregon against Stanford. Um, so Oregon looks very good to begin the season. Uh, they beat, um, they beat currently ranked number eighteen Fresno State. They beat Ohio State, so they look good to open up the season. Uh, they're four and zero. Stanford is two and two with two wins against Vanderbilt and USC. Against USC was an upset win, but against Vanderbilt was expected. And they lost to Kansas State and UCLA. Uh, I think Oregon scores a lot of points and beats Stanford 41-27. Number six, Oklahoma against Kansas State. Um, so Oklahoma has not convinced me they're a contender this year. Um, they had one convincing win, 72-0 over Western Carolina, which is an FCS team, which is a Division I subdiv- subdivision, like a... So the bowl, the FBS or the bowl series is the top main division in Division One, but then you have the FCS, which is still Division One, but it's a subdivision. Um. And Western Carolina still hasn't won a game playing FCS teams. So. Uh, Kansas State has wins against Stanford, Southern Illinois, and Nevada, and they lost. Last week to Oklahoma State. 
So, this is another game I think Oklahoma is going to win, but it's another game I think Oklahoma is going to win by not as much as they should. Uh, so, it's going to be closer than it should be. Oklahoma wins 27-21. Number 11, Ohio State against Akron. Um, Ohio State quarterback C.J. Stroud is expected to start. Sorry, 11, Ohio State against Rutgers. Um, Ohio State quarterback C.J. Stroud is expected to start after serving as an emergency backup against Akron with a shoulder injury. So they just wanted to make sure it was nothing serious and just let him sit out, and they still uh, ended up destroying Akron. Uh, I have Ohio State winning this game 45-17. Number 10, Florida against Kentucky. Um, both teams, well, sorry, Kentucky is 4-0 and Florida is 3-1. Uh, Florida's looked really good this season. Uh, they gave Alabama probably their best, definitely they played their best game of the season against Alabama. Um, and they gave Alabama their toughest test, although Alabama faces another tough test this week in Ole Miss, but I don't think it's tougher than Florida. Um, my prediction, Florida wins 34-24. Louisiana Tech against number 23, NC State, or North Carolina State. So NC State is coming in off an upset win over Clemson in double overtime. Uh, NC State is 3-1 and one with a loss to Mississippi State. I think um, NC State wins this 34-28. Uh, Mississippi State against Texas A&M. Uh, Texas A&M was upset by Arkansas last week. Um, I could see this game being very close and like a thriller, but I think it's going to be Texas A&M not that close, but pretty, like, sort of close, but not like a thriller, um, because Texas A&M is home and they do have the better team. I'm going Texas A&M twenty three seventeen. Number twenty one Baylor against number nineteen Oklahoma State. Um, Baylor is coming in off an upset win over Iowa State, and Oklahoma State beat Kansas State last week. So, I could see this game going either way. Either team is very capable of, of winning this game. I think it's going to be Oklahoma State coming out on top. Uh, 31-28 and a walk-off last-second field goal. Boston College against number 25, Clemson. Uh, last week, Clemson was upset by NC State. And they were almost upset two weeks ago by Georgia State. Um, I think this will be another close game. Boston College will give it their all. Um, Boston College is 4-0. They beat Colgate, UMass, Temple, and Missouri. Um, Boston College is without starting quarterback Phil Jakovic. Luckily for the rest of the season, um, backup Dennis Grossell is starting. Uh, I have Clemson winning this game 28-17. Indiana against number 4, Penn State. Uh, Penn State looked impressive in their wins over Wisconsin and Auburn. Um, they're 4-0 with wins over, as I just said, Wisconsin and Auburn, plus wins over Ball State and Villanova. Uh, Indiana is 2-2 two two with losses to Iowa, since Iowa and Cincinnati and wins against Kentucky and Idaho. Sorry, Western Kentucky and Idaho. Uh, I have Penn State with a 30, 31-16 win. Western Kentucky against number 17, Michigan State. Uh, Michigan State's looked good this this year so far. They're undefeated, 4-0. Uh, they beat Northwestern, Youngstown State, blew out Miami, which in that game they upset Miami, and they beat Nebraska in overtime. I think Michigan State comes out on top, 38-27. Number 22, Auburn against LSU. Uh Auburn is three and one, and so is LSU. Auburn is three and one with a loss to Penn State, and they were almost upset by Georgia State last week. Um, and LSU is three and one with their 
upset loss to UCLA. Uh, it's unclear who will start for Auburn, whether it's going to be Bo Nix or TJ Finley. Finley was the one rep- replacing Nix after he was benched last week, and he was the one leading Auburn to the comeback win over Georgia State last week. Um, whoever starts at quarterback, I see Auburn winning 27-21. Number 20, UCLA against Arizona State. Both teams are 3-1. and one. Arizona State was upset by BYU, and UCLA was upset by Fresno State. Uh, I think Dorian Thompson-Robinson, UCLA quarterback, leads them to the hard-fought 31-28 victory. Number 18, Fresno State against Hawaii. Fresno State is 4-1. and one. They, upset UC- they upset UCLA, an impressive win, and their one loss came to Oregon. I think Fresno State wins this game 42-24. Now on to the good games. So th- some of those games I think are going to be good, but like these games like th- these three upcoming games like they're like really good. Like you you don't you're not going to want to miss them. Um so starting off number 8 Arkansas against number 2 Georgia. I think this is going to be a very good game. Well, pretty good for the most part. Arkansas looked good early in the season with upset wins over Texas and Texas A&M. Um, but this is a big test for Arkansas because um, they're playing one of the best teams, arguably the best team in the country, Georgia, and they're playing it in Athens, which is Georgia's home. Uh, so I have Georgia with the 37-21 win. Number seven, Cincinnati against number nine, Notre Dame. Notre Dame is home for this game. Um, even if Notre Dame was on the road, I would still think it would be Notre Dame in this game. But I think they're going to have a little bit of an easier time, especially since they're at home. Um, if Cincinnati does win this game, it is going to definitely boost them in the playoff talk, in the playoff picture. Um, and especially if Notre Dame only losses to Cincinnati. Um, and obviously Cincinnati would have to win out the rest of the way. Um, Notre Dame's defense looked really good last week against Wisconsin, forcing five turnovers and only allowing 13 points. Uh, Notre Dame quarterback Jack Cohen should be available for the game after leaving last week's game with an ankle injury. I think Notre Dame ends up winning 27-17. Number one, Alabama against number 12, Ole Miss. Uh, this is probably going to be one of the best games. I think definitely top three. Um, the last three, so Georgia, Arkansas, Notre Dame, Cincinnati, and Alabama, Ole Miss are going to be the three best games. Um, and even though Alabama is in a, is on the road, I still have them with the forty five thirty one win. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment if you agree with my predictions or disagree, and why. And I will see you Sunday for my updated playoff predictions and top 10 rankings.